Okay. When it's winter, okay. there's nothing to see. It's cold. You wouldn't even want to go out because it's that cold. You know, I was talking about it that <coughs> I would love to live here in Copenhagen. And my bro was telling me that I'm just enjoying it because it's summer. Exactly. And um, exactly. that it might not be the same when it's winter. It is not the same at all. I would say right now, compared to like normally the summer, people outside. In the winter time, during the winter time, she won't really see too many people outside. It's too cold to be walking outside. People no. rather stay home. You're all trying to be somewhere where you can be inside. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine. <coughs> That's, That's interesting that you actually said that. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, she lived in um, Malmo for what, two years. Okay, doing Magdalene. the MSC, the oh, Magdalene, okay. yeah, so, yeah, so she knows, she knows yeah. Because, yeah. This for us is the best place to stop. You think we should start there? Yeah. Tell me a friend. We are a Okay, let's just take the metro straight. Okay, that's fine. So there, there's one. And we have to take the one that's one and two. We'll figure it out because right. it's a circle. It's actually quite near the M3. Okay. The M3 just opened up in 2020, I think, and they've been working on it since I started. Like, I remember when I was like 14, okay. me and my friends were talking because just everywhere, a lot of places were blocked, and there was like these big uh, Things. The best thing we're we'll building this all around it we really get it. Yeah. Me and my friend were talking about imagine when they are finished with this, we can actually like just take the train from go anywhere you exactly want. From and now it's possible. It is. And it's not it's not it hasn't been too long. No, it's not not long. Well, we can just go to the house of the house. Yeah, let's go down. So the M1 and M2 the red and the blue. I don't think M4 has been opened yet. They're a bit late. The M3 is new. It's called the City Ring because it goes like around Copenhagen. Oh, so that thing we saw on the map is actually real? Yeah. Like that's the real yeah, track? Yeah, that's the, like the track of the metro. The whole metro. So the red one was the City Ring, which is they call it now. Yeah. It goes around the whole Copenhagen. See here. Had to take the change buses or well, I can, and I can imagine. So it has and this is people. really cycle, yeah, right? You go around. Yeah. So if you were to hop in a, 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 a train here, yeah. you can literally go and come and back. Come back. And basically. so if you miss the train, I think it's a perfect idea because it will make strangers, you know, just 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 sit and wait. It will, it will take you back to where you started. Before it was only these two that were there. Okay. And then they would split here in Amma, whatever. So at Christian Town, where we were, we were seniors, they would split because Amma is so big. So this would take the west part of Amma, and this would go to the airport, which is, I don't know, yeah. that's not even the west part, it's just like central. Central, central and that, that, um, that part is easier too because we are here. We are here, right? So every oh, morning. Right now, we, but you, yeah. You're yeah, that's where we yeah. stay. So every morning we take the train to Norport mm -hmm. and then we change to another. We usually take M2 train mm -hmm. to this place and then we change because we are going to Lingby. So we change over to another train that will take us there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lingby is a bit. Lingby is it's not even a problem. Yeah, it's not. Back, back in the day, you couldn't come from here. Okay. Come from here or like go from. I wanted to go to, let's say, the central station from Fredericksburg. You actually had to change a lot because there was no direct line from here to the station. But this ring has made it possible to actually go come from here and it goes straight to Copenhagen uh, station, central station. So our first hop was. Tracy, what train did we take? Was it the M3? The M3 metro. Yeah. 
metro okay. line yeah. from Craigspar station okay. to the okay. station. So that's the new city ring metro thing line, <laughs> whatever it's called. Okay. <laughs> so at, at what age did you start looking for a job? I was 13 when I started looking for jobs, but I knew that no one was going to hire me. Like, apart from the paper delivery companies, no one was really going to hire me because that was too early. Okay. So I waited a bit, and then when I turned 15, I got my first job in H&M. H&M, okay. Yeah, so where I basically was in the... I wasn't allowed to be behind the cashier yet, but I was in the fitting rooms and fixing clothes when people came out with these things. Why is that so? Is it because you didn't have enough experience to be at the Why were you not allowed? At that time, they had a rule that said you had to be 18 before you could be behind the cashier. But luckily, they changed it so we could be 17. Like, I stood in behind the cashier for like six months before I stopped. Yeah. I was like, all fun to get that job. It was actually very good. A good job. I liked it. So, at 16, you were already working. You were getting your own pay check every month. Wow, yeah. oh, that's nice. I had friends who started before me. I had a friend who started at 14. She was in a supermarket. And she worked there for quite a long time. And she got to go out there with the supermarket. So. I feel like I was late and it was also, it helped me a lot because and I think it lifted a, a bit of the weight of my mom's shoulders because some things that I just want like let's say sneakers, sneakers are expensive right? and it's not always that your mom wants to pay I don't know how much, 800 Danish crowns or 1000 crowns for her sneakers but me having a job you know, made it gave me the opportunity to even like just save up if I wanted something like some shoes or some clothing even though my mom was still supporting me. I think I got stuff. I got my first job in Ghana at the age of 20. When I was hired, yes, by a data company, data entry company. And that was even just coding, like coding, writing on the scripts. I wasn't allowed to charge the computer to enter the data. Okay. But the Asian I was talking about, yeah. okay, you can't really see it from here, but we can actually, we can pass by it after. Okay. But there was no back then. There was no station here, so I had to take the bus. Okay. I had to go to the nearest like metro station, which is Computer or an airport, which is like you can't see it from here. But we might pass by. We're probably yeah, sure, gonna sure. pass by. I'd uh, love, uh, love for us to see your yeah. first job. Your... Place where I have worked. Yeah, <laughs> best place where I have worked. So that's the panels. It's part of like the panels in whole the whole Copenhagen, which used to be like a industrial harbor. City, but now it's like Hamilton and Harvard, so you can actually sit and relax and enjoy. Okay. So these people are just totally passing around the whole Copenhagen. This panel's like goes through the whole Copenhagen, it's around school Copenhagen, kind of. So you can just get you one. You can boat, rent the boat. Good. Okay. And then, yeah, do your thing, enjoy, sit, and then just <laughs> enjoy whole Copenhagen. I see some people are going just. Couple can go also, you can go in a group. Yeah. yeah, like you know, friends, party, and it's going to go around and around, right? I held my birthday once in a group. Okay. Yeah. So I invited like a small group of people and then we just How was it? It was fun. Tell us about that. I was very lucky that it was a good the weather was good, so we just sitting there drinking, you know, some light alcohol because we weren't allowed to drink because Obviously, otherwise the, otherwise the boat would crash. Yeah. But it was very nice, and we're just going around Copenhagen. It was a bit difficult, I can't lie, because the water is going one way, and you're trying to get the boat the other way. So you know, you had to kind of, you know, fill out how it's supposed to. But I think we figured it out. Okay. Everyone figured it out. So All right. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to our next stop. <laughs> 